Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Today we're in Redondo Beach and I am joined by my friend Ariana Armstrong. And today we're going to eat sea urchin. Now a lot of people might have heard of this as uni, um, but uh, uni is basically the, the part that we're going to eat and the sea urchin is the animal itself. And basically the part that you eat is the female gonad of the animal. And, um, and so I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that orange part is what's left after they, uh, they cleaned it out. And so uh, it's best to get them fresh. Here they're alive, they're in a tank. Uh, they take them out of the tank, uh, they break open the top, and uh, there's a beak in there. They take the beak out, they take all the other internal organs out, and uh, they leave the female gonads in there, and they kind of rinse them out and, um, and leave the good part for us. So, um, and they're still moving. They are still moving, and and he didn't know what what type of sea urchin this was, right? Um, right. I think they're typically called Santa Barbara sea urchins. Right. So there 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 are varieties all over the world. Uh, typically, the one the most sought after is from Japan, right? I'm not sure. All right. But I know that they are delicious. So you might notice that the spines are still moving. Uh, the animal is dead, but because of the way their nervous system works, those spines will continue to move for a while. So, although it looks like we're eating them while they're alive, um, we're eating them recently dead. So, mine has some layers of sort of long, fleshy bits next to the orange. Do you know what that is? I don't. Mine does too, and I'm, and I'm, I'm wondering, should we eat that? I don't know. Well, we could give it a we we could give it a try, and if it's not like the orangey part, we could. I mean, uh, this is an adventure. All right, cheers. Cheers. It's so good. It's very creamy. Very creamy, and uh, it's got this briny, salt, watery. Goodness, very fresh. So very, it very like oceany. Mm -hmm. Very oceany. With this uh, umami smoothness on the back end, so it's like eating a piece of creamy, smooth, briny umami. It just falls apart in your mouth. I mean, the texture. It's, it's, it's not um, like some people think oceany. They think offensive, you know, very offensive. Uh, you know, low tide kind of taste, but it really, it's not. It's just. It's just a, like you said, a fresh, briny uh, flavor. It's very mellow. Sort of what like the sea coast of Maine in the winter time smells like. It tastes like it smells, like that smells. Yeah. And this doesn't. It doesn't have a strong smell. So it's like uh, you know some seafood. If it's past its prime, it kind of has an ammonia ammonia smell to oh, it, and this one doesn't not at all. At all. So we're going to eat the uh, the fun, nice orange part, and then afterwards, if we get brave, we're going to try that uh, that other fleshy colored part. We don't know what that part is. Now, the thing about uni is, in a restaurant, it's typically pretty expensive. Yeah. And it, it varies. It varies. Um, and the problem is that it's something along the lines of foie gras or um, or truffles that gets abused. By, uh, by people who like to, to eat expensive things. And so they'll put it on things like breakfast cereal and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches or, but I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but, uh, but uh, it, it's, I think it's something that's best enjoyed occasionally. Just every once in a while to enjoy it and everything. But people just, they put it on everything, put it in cocktails. And I think it should just be eaten plain like this. Yes, it, it, this is actually a lot like foie gras with the, the creaminess. It doesn't have the strong, the strong taste, though. No, but the texture, sort of a whipped. As a matter of fact, it's surprising that it doesn't have that real strong taste. But you're right, and if you think about just a small amount that comes out of it's one one creature. We are at Quality Seafood in Redondo Beach, I'm and um, and so they have the, the tanks where they'll take them out and clean them. So I I always recommend that if you're going to try this for the first time, always get it where it's alive. And they uh, they open it up and clean it for you because when it's in the in its processed or packaged form, you don't really know how long it's been dead, and there's nothing 
quite like the taste of having it uh, having it fresh. So the first time you eat it, should you choose to, I would definitely do it this way. Did you try the other part? Not the yet. The fleshy part? I'm still uh, overcome with how delicious it is. So um, I'm reveling in the, the tastiness. Well, we're going to finish our uni, our sea urchin, and um, highly advise you to do the same. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed doing it. If so, click on this video right here. I think you're really going to enjoy that. If not, click on this video over here. It's a little bit different. Might be up your alley. Either way, leave a comment down below. But for something really interesting, click on my penis. And to subscribe, click on the trippy food sign right here. Enjoyed having you. Hope to see you again soon.